This video is sponsored by the mobile strategy game Lord of the Rings Rise to War. This week is my third anniversary on YouTube. And what a journey it's been. I made over 150 videos making some of the coolest projects one could ever imagine. On top of that, I've been able to give back to the community in many different ways. Letting 10 different people pick up whatever they wanted from the game store, painting up hundreds and hundreds of Tau miniatures, and giving it to someone in the community who deserved it. This is... All yours. Are you serious? Yes. What? We also painted up Space Marines for charity, and currently I'm making a massive series where I'm trading up to get the Warlord Titan to paint it and auction it out for charity. But there is one thing that I've been wanting to do for myself. Something that I've dreamed about owning since I was a little kid. And that something is to have a pinball machine. There was nothing cooler to 10-year-old Emil than the pinball machines at the arcade halls. So I've been thinking, how cool would it be to get hold of a pinball machine and rebuild it build an entire diorama inside of the pinball machine. Is it reasonable? I have no idea, because the truth is I don't really know a lot about pinball machines, but I intend to find out. Yeah, let's see how this goes. We could go so many different ways, because I'm guessing there is like hundreds and hundreds of different pinball machines made. It would be nice to have some sort of franchise, perhaps Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, Batman. My personal favorite would probably be if I can get Lord of the Rings, obviously, because the, like, the best movies ever made, and we know that there's figures we can make from it. X-Men, because that was my favorite TV series as a kid. Or maybe Turtles, just because Turtles is awesome. Hey man. Hey, Bill. You're out and about. How's it going? Man, I have a, a weird question. Yeah, because we had this idea to rebuild an entire pinball game, build a diorama inside of it. The only issue is we need to find a sponsor <laughs> for it. <laughs> you, so, <laughs> you need to make it happen. Yeah. So the question is like, do you have any contacts with either a pinball manufacturer or maybe a sponsor that would be excited to have us like make this dream come true? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, leave it with me. Can I get back to you? Yeah, sounds good. Good. All right. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Best of luck. <laughs> Bye. Maybe he's getting back with us tomorrow. Hey, Lucas. Come here. I need to pick up. Hey, yo. Well, I'm glad you're excited. I've got some good news and some bad news. Some good news or bad news first? Uh, let's, let's do good first. Okay. So I've got a sponsor. They're down with your pinball diorama idea. It's not who you thought. It's not. It's, uh... Lord of the Rings Rise to War. What? I know, I know, I know. They're going to be great. They're down to the cover of the entire cost of the video. Do you want the bad news? How bad can it be? You've probably got, given the, the game release, you've probably got about 10 days to make the video. <laughs> 10 days? Okay. Um, so do you want to do it? Yeah, I mean, yes. I, I We have to do it. What do you think, Lucas? Great. I'll set up. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. Let me pick. Yeah, talk later, man. Bye, man. We're getting a pinball game. I'm so excited. I, I guess this video is, is sponsored by Lord of the Rings Rise to War. I'll take the weekend and see if it's possible to get hold of a pinball game. I feel like that could be the biggest hurdle. I've downloaded the game, so I'm just gonna start playing it <laughs> because someone has to do it. Oh no. But I, that's actually a good idea because then we can get some inspiration. It's so fucking hype yeah. right now. <laughs> it's really cool animation. Okay, I would be nice. so sad if we can't get hold of a Lord of the Rings game. So maybe you can see what we're gonna build inside yeah. of the pinball game if we get one and then place the order of stuff. So I think I'm gonna start with Angmar because I'm kinda hyped for that. I'm gonna be elves because why the f not? Okay, so a little bit of an update. I've looked everywhere over the weekend. And I played a lot of Rise to War, which have not made me less excited because like Lord of the Rings is like the coolest franchise. Having a game with like all the characters and all of the realms and cities and everything, it's quite awesome. So there is an old Lord of the Rings game. It came out in 2003, but it's not been sold for like 15 years. So it might be a little bit difficult to get hold of. Secondly, I looked on every single platform, like the Swedish version of eBay, Craigslist, every Facebook pinball group I could find and Facebook Marketplace. Place, and I have not been able to find a single machine that's newer than 30 years old, which makes it kind of difficult. Not enough machines being made so that all the old machines are super sought after, especially Lord of the Rings, because it turns out that it's like ranked top 10 in the history of all pinball machines ever made. So I have no idea how this is gonna go, but 
I have some positive news as well. Uh, I did manage to get hold of one guy who has a game from the 70s. I talked to the guy to ask for some tips and maybe had some guidance. And he told me about his friend who has like 20 pinball machines in his garage. So we are actually invited to go play in his garage tomorrow, which is kind of awesome. I can't remember the last time I was this excited about something. So got a lot of games. A few of them we've been really interested in, as uh, Jurassic Park is one of those examples. And also a Lord of the Rings. How awesome is this? Victor is slaying it. That was so much fun and thanks again Pelle for letting us play in your arcade hall in the garage. That was probably the most fun I've had. And I have some good news. He's actually willing to sell us his Lord of the Rings game, which is, I don't know, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to say. It's on, we can actually do this video. So that is the so far biggest hurdle. So we still have like a billion of things that we have to fix, like, I don't know, like d depending on <laughs> what we want to do. If, if we want to do ribbon done, we gotta fix houses. Uh, are you sure you want to do all this? I'm so excited. Fuck yes, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas is just playing the game <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <Yeah. in office. laughs> How's it going? It's going good. Look, my army is. Uh... Oh no, it's it's not good enough. Yeah, no, I can't invade that area. My army is too bad. <laughs> we just got a text. The pinball game is coming around lunchtime today. This is so much hype. Holy so you guys have no idea how fun this is we've played this like every free moment we've had and the uh, best thing that has happened to us so we have a few things that we've learned from playing it and what we can change and what we can redo it's gonna be really difficult to do something about this area because then the game is gonna be unplayable which means that we would have ruined it but we've had this brilliant brilliant idea the first thing is that we're going to rebuild this one we're gonna remove this part here Unfortunately, as you see, it's very shallow, so we're going to have to rebuild this entire thing and make something that's a little bit deeper so we can build a diorama in here. And the plan we had was to make maybe Rivendell from it. I think that would be awesome with like waterfalls and stuff and then have maybe this light here shine from the back. It's gonna be super cool. So we're gonna have to redo that. And luckily, Marcus, who you've seen earlier in this video, his brother owns a carpentry workshop. Andre! We need a new topper for the flipper. Can you fix it? Of course. Let's do it now. Nice. Nice. And then secondly, we have the stuff that we can do in here. And normally you see that the game have a lot of these like tiny characters. Originally, I think there is like the entire fellowship plus like a Nazgul or something, but they have already broken. None of them have their weapons in their hands. As you can see, no staffs. So our plan is to replace Gandalf here with King's Workshop's Gandalf. We're gonna do Saruman down here, paint him up and replace him. And up on this tiny little shelf here, we thought we would make in the Gollum's little cave. And I think one of the coolest thing is this part here is honestly terribly ugly. So we thought why just not cut this entire thing up here and then sink in like the dead marshes or something. We're gonna start looking for some references. Lucas is gonna build some trees for this part up here. And hopefully in a day or so, we'll have the new back box so we can start building the diorama there. And uh, I guess I'll see you back in a day or two. I think Marcus just arrived. It's their big box, Marcus. Is it heavy? Yes, it is. Can you carry it inside? Probably. Perfect, then you oh. don't need me. Oh. So, we got the box. It's pretty, I love it. And we got some XPS foam. So now I'm gonna start building up mountains for buildings. Uh, we do have an issue though. We don't have any Elven buildings. So I'm gonna put up a post on our Patreon group and see if there's any sculptor who wants to help out and sculpt some. But yeah, I'm gonna start with this and then hopefully while I'm doing that we have a reply. So let's go. So I have some good news. Just like an hour or two after I put out the ad on the Patreon group, we have a sculptor who is excited about helping out with the video sculpting some element houses. 
And that someone is Ugareg Miniatures. And the best thing of all, he's gonna do it today. Everything just seems to be falling in place, like compared to other videos. It's like a dream. <laughs> Lucas! Oh. Come and check, check, looky look at this. Ooh. Elven houses, how awesome are these? Very awesome. The best thing is, uh, Ugareg said that he's gonna put all of these available for you guys to purchase if you want to. So if you want some generic elven houses, I'm gonna put the link down in the video description. Cause as you'll see in the end of this video, I'm assuming they're gonna look amazing in a table build. So I'm hyped. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm hyped too. Uh, I'm gonna start 3D printing these now. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. The first print of the first bridge is looking amazing. The design of this is just, oh, pure gold. On top of that, the big houses are currently printing and they are 14 hours, 50 minutes away. Lord of the Rings Rise to War is a mobile strategy game that you just you don't want to miss it. Based from the Middle Earth lore, you can select from 10 different factions and select your favorite commanders. Every single one of them is from the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit movies and they will help you expand your army into new territories. Now you can play the game with people from all around the world and Lucas, Victor and I have been playing like 10 hours each since we started knowing about the game. And if you're evil like me, you can join my clan, Squid Squad. Or if you're a good guy, you can join my clan because uh, I, want, I want to beat this guy. We're called Squidmars Crusade and we're good guys, so join us. I'm currently level 46 and my strongest commander is Haldir, he's level 35, so I'm, I'm getting better. Right now you can download the app either on App Store or on Google Play. The game is free to download and you can definitely play entirely for free without having to spend any money in-game because we've, we've been doing that, all three of us, and it's been going perfectly fine. We've got all of the links down in the video description. I'm gonna try to build some cool looking trees like we did in the Manta de Roma. So for this we're gonna need a bunch of different bushes and tufts and stuff. So we have a bunch from Green Stuff World and some from Pollock Models. And we're gonna glue them to a bunch of these roots and try to make cool looking trees. It's rather simple. Look at all these pretty trees I've done. It's time to start with the 3D printed houses. And for that we need obviously the 3D printed houses. We also need all the details that we printed for the houses. And I'm gonna start gluing them on, connect them with some plastic card. Okay, so we came quite a bit yesterday. It's yeah. looking quite good. We need to add some rocks, I'm gonna do that today. But we only have like five more days to do the entire thing. So I kind of called in some reinforcements. <laughs> Put it, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do uh, Gandalf and also I'm gonna do Saruman. Nice. Yeah. And Frederick? I'm gonna do Gollum in the cave. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Let's just get started. I'm gonna start building the bridge that's gonna come here from the building A to building B. The foundation for the bridge. So we started um, doing some modeling um, within the flipper. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to put Gandalf on the base on an extension that we're going to put somewhere like around here. And then on top of that, Gandalf here, and I'm going to do some water effects splashing around uh, a little like the marshland. So yeah, it's going to be cool. We had to cut this bit a little bit just to make room for the plastic card, which is gonna be like the base, as you can see. So um, next up, painting. We're 
Finally done with Gandalf. All what is left, just put him into the fin board. And then what you can see, what's going in next is a small work in progress for Saruman. So um, stay tuned. So I uh, removed this uh, piece of plastic here from the flipper game and I have start planning out uh, the cave for Gollum and uh, using some UV resin here, rocks. Uh, I'm gonna place him like that and I think that's gonna be good. I want it to be uh, clear, since I'm gonna do a resin pour and kind of fake some deeper water. I want to have it as uh, not non-transparent as possible, but still have like uh, light coming through. Getting uh, done with the skin tone of Gollum. Uh, I'm just gonna finish with some uh, liver spots and a little bit more maybe some glazes to get out some, some different tones here. I'm actually quite pleased with the progress. So Gollum is finished and I've attached him to the base and uh, then we're ready for some resin here. It was pretty fast but fun project. I think it's gonna look good in the Flipper game. If you thought uh, we haven't had enough of resin casting over the past few weeks, we got uh, more glass cast that we're gonna use for the Golem Cave to start with and then tomorrow for the Dead Martians. Grand finale for Mr. Golem and his cave is the tiny boat. And uh, now put this in the water right there. Okay, we're done. Let's wait for this to cure. So we got some dead marsh specters here and Frederick is gonna jump on to paint them because he's done with his golems, it's working fast. So there's this tiny little detail if you've ever seen Rivendell or any of the elven houses in either the movies or like we do in the Rise to War game, you can see that there are several upon several different waterfalls and rivers running down. So we need to find a way to make the waterfalls. One way to do it is to use some sort of water effect and some baking paper, parchment paper wax paper, I don't know what it's called, but you just draw lines of it next to each other, let them dry for a bit and then stir them around with a trashy brush. So we've done a big brain thing. We're gonna start painting the houses, remove them. For some weird reason we decided to glue the houses in place, so we're gonna have to cut them loose so we can paint them because uh, big brain. Let's do it. Okay, so the modeling compound is done. We have done pretty much anything we can do to this point. Uh, it's gonna have to dry for about an hour. We have also primed the houses. Yes. And they look amazing. So we're gonna paint those, I guess. So I've brought out this sepia ink from Green Stuff World. So I'm gonna shoot it through the airbrush and try to get it from underneath. So we only paint in the shadows. And then we'll see if I do some oil wash or something. I, I'm not certain because we haven't really figured out what we're doing yet, but uh, we're figuring out as we go. So we're on day two. Frederick's gonna continue with the specters for dead marshes. I just baked everything with some PVA glue so that when I prime it, it's not gonna melt. And Lucas is working on the houses. Okay. Uh, it's a good combo. I'm now gonna go out and prime this. We're gonna do uh, as simple a uh, paint job as we can. We're gonna. Do everything gray, except for everything that's not gonna be gray, that's gonna be brown. I'm yet really tired today. Let's do it.
So we were planning on making a gravel and sand mix for all the pathways in the Rivendell Diorama, but then I found this already made mixture from Geek Gaming, so I'm just gonna take that one, mix in some pigment, it's gonna look awesome, and then we can sprinkle it all over the diorama. Uh, so Frederick, how's it going? Yeah, it's good. I've painted uh, five uh, Dead Marsh Spectres actually, <laughs> Which and, uh, quite and a golem. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're probably tired of painting metal <laughs> minis by now. So tired. <laughs> yeah, we stayed up way too late last night. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's been fun, but I'm a little bit tired yeah. of Spectres now. So in like two days, Lucas and I are gonna make the marshes. Yeah. And they're gonna be put in deep in resin. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy, what you doing? I'm painting. He's like painting. Always, I'm actually painting. Um, what's it called? The Palantir. 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 Yeah, painting this one for Sauron. Yeah. So Sauron be... man, I heard it's called. Sauron man. But you've been painting as well for like 15 hours now in two days. Um. Well, I seems to be. I'm famous for painting Gandalf. So. Yeah. So we have this bottom part here that's going in uh, at the bottom of the pinball. And this is where we're gonna have the dead marshes. And we're not gonna be able to finish this today, but we thought uh, we'd cut this open now so we have it ready to start like painting and building and doing like the casting stuff inside of it. Because it's probably gonna take some time. So Victor's gonna do this, just start cutting. So party is finally done with Sauroman, so uh, I guess it's just time for another grand reveal. been two amazing days they're finally over you guys had fun yeah yeah, yeah. it's been awesome it's great we have like three mini dioramas inside of there we have five extra minis yeah i've had fun yeah me too so, where can people find you guys Lubans miniatures at instagram and youtube and party paint facebook and instagram So we are gonna try to add some water now. We got the Vallejo water texture, uh, Mediterranean blue. We've never tried this. So we're gonna start with just like a, a tiny area. So then we don't get the same problem that we had with the TV. We're going to try a different route in making the resin pour and building up this entire thing. So we're gonna start with just adding plastic wrap and dress it up. And with the plastic wrap in place, we're going to use some plaster cloth. And hopefully that will give us the right shape so that nothing touches anything or goes down where there's any of the pinball balls and everything is fine. We have no leaks because of the plastic wrap. And with that, I think we can start like building the diorama and then adding some resin. Hopefully our brains have thought this through enough this time so we don't have leaks, but I don't have high hopes. So we got the cast dry finally. So now I'm going to start adding these like tiny islands and pathways for our tiny halflings. And then we're gonna add some more modeling compound just to fill everything out and make it look good. Let's do it. So we only have two more days to work, so uh, we're getting a little bit stressed because this thing isn't finished. We have all the coconut fiber there, I've sealed it and I have to add grass tufts. Even though it isn't dry, I have to do it now because yeah, we don't really have time to wait. So I'm just gonna slap on even more gamers grass grass tufts and hopefully it's gonna look like the dead marshes. And then I'm just gonna add the specters and we're good to go, I think. So 
So everything here has finally dried, which means that we only have one more day left to work on this entire thing. So I'm gonna do the figures that Frederick painted and just put them in here. We're gonna add a bit of roots so we get some depth, like putting a root on top of the, the figures. Layers always make things look amazing. I've been exploring uh, the dead marshes a little bit in the game and uh, like I play, I don't know, I've played probably like six hours by now. It's super fun. Uh, but yeah, let's get started with this stuff and I'll see you in a bit. So this is my last big part before we put everything together, which I'm honestly crazy hyped about because uh, it's been two crazy intense weeks, but it's been fun. I'm gonna do resin pour, so I'm just gonna mix up resin. We got a bunch of different inks and colors here that we're gonna mix together because we want it to be kind of murky, but we still want to be able to see the figures that Frederick painted, so we're gonna find a balance. trees are in place and it looks pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. Now we gotta add some grass tufts. Unfortunately we pretty much used up like 20 packages of these on the Manta Diorama. Thankfully Gamers Grass, our favorite grass tuft brand, sent us an entire box of new grass tufts. So we're gonna start adding these and it's gonna look amazing. So let's get into it. So there are only two parts left on Rivendell. It's it's coming along nicely. So I'm gonna paint this backdrop. It's the plexiglass sheet we cut out earlier. And Emma's gonna do all the water. So it's finally time for me to start gluing all of these waterfall bits that Lucas had done in place. And then we're gonna use some Vallejo water texture to just blend everything together. You also don't wanna have that all gooey blue stuff there. So we're gonna experiment some with white and uh, this and maybe some water texture and maybe some of this stuff and maybe some of this stuff and maybe some of this stuff. Don't Let forget this stuff. Yeah, let's see which we're gonna use. Maybe all of them, I don't know. And now you're probably wondering, how's Lucas gonna make an epic looking backdrop? Well, I have this printing of Rivendell, so I'm gonna do this with some airbrush, nice colors, and just like I did in the Raid Diorama, if you haven't seen that, go check that out because it's a cool looking TV. So it's time to break this stuff and start categorizing all the tables so we can put on the new topper that we made. So we're gonna need some tape. So Marcus is just unplugging the last contact so we can remove the speakers. Are you feeling excited? Yeah. Yeah. So we have the dead marshes, it's done, kind of. We have an issue, there's been like a little bit of a leak underneath. So it's like twice as big as we thought it would be, so it's not fitting right now. And there's like three hours left to work today and then we have to send the video to the sponsor or we, they will not pay it, then we have to pay everything. Lucas and Marcus, how are you guys doing? Uh, 
hopefully good. Awesome. Yeah, they're trying to put together everything. So we have this to file up everything. You have to do that. And then we have to finish the waterfall. And then I think that everything is done. So I guess we're gonna do like a speed compilation video part thing. And then we do the grand reveal. See you later. So we are finally done. Everything is in place and I could not have wished for a better sponsor this week. Seriously, Rise to War, Lucas and I have been playing it a lot and now you can play the game with people from all around the world. It's honestly really fun. So go check it out. As well, a massive thanks to all of the patrons, to Ugere who designed the Elven Houses, to Frederick and Putte who came up and helped us, to Pelle who let us buy his game and Charles who managed to find Rise to War to sponsor this video. And after today, I'm gonna sleep so much but now it's time for a grand reveal Have a great day everyone and thanks to all of these awesome patrons. Bye bye!